What is going on guys, Dakota from D Caldwell Photography. I hope you're having a phenomenal day so far. In this video, we're gonna go over the three ISO 400 film stocks, including the new Cine Steel 400D, the Fuji Color 400H, as well as the Kodak Portrait 400 line. Not only will we be discussing things I noticed during this shoot with Emerald using the three 400 film stocks, but also talking and comparing about things from previous shoots that I noticed, as well as some of the characteristics that I noticed about each 400 film stock that we're displaying on the screen today. So if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, as well as click that subscribe button if you aren't a part of the channel yet, so you don't miss any upcoming content. So we might as well dive right into the new Cine Steel 400D film stock since we were displaying those images at the start of the video. If you're part of the DCP family already and subscribe to the channel, then you know since shooting with film, I absolutely love this Cine Steel film stock uh, 800T. BWXX 50D, I love all of them. And adding a daytime film stock to 400 dynamic is pretty cool, I say on City Steel's part. So you don't have to worry about shooting your 800T during the daytime. Or if you want something a little bit warmer than the City Steel 50D, you can hop on the Cine Steel 400D train. Some of my impressions of using this Cine Steel 400D film stock so far after a couple shoots and about three or four rolls here, um, I really am getting a desaturated warm look. So like a warm desaturated color like palette to this film, okay? Uh, I would say that this film tends to focus a little bit more on the yellows and reds as you do see in these images I'm displaying on the screen and at the beginning of the video as well. And I dig that a lot too. I like the little light leaks that come in, like the halation um, leak on the side of the film too. I think that's really cool. And again, uh, Cine Steel is like a really different type of film. It's a motion picture stock with the rim jet layer removed, meaning once that's taken out, it doesn't protect the film from different halation leaks in the highlights and whatnot, right? So I can put this type of film, as you've seen from some of my other videos on the channel, I can put this film in my camera and shoot against different light sources and it gives me that nice blooming halation effect. And if you want a deeper breakdown of halation, what it is and the different types of effect, diffusion filters and other different things that contribute to the awesome blooming effect in your images, go ahead and click that card on the top right hand side of the video after you're done watching this one, of course. Anyways, the Fuji Color 400H is a beautiful, beautiful pastel like uh, film stock. I love the airy just like greenery look that it gives your images like you're seeing right now. Uh, this one on the screen is particularly my favorite. Just how how vibrant the greens are. Um, you know, the it's more of a muted film stock, right? So I, I say that airy pastel color look um, using those cool tones, those cool colors with this film stock, right? Uh, the skin tones and everything else is a little bit muted. It's not horrible and you can go into post and edit. Yes, I said edit your film photos. You can go into post and, you know, add some saturation to bring the life back into the skin a little bit more if you do run into an issue where the skin tone is just completely off. But that's the whole point of this particular film stock. Just again, the, the pastel, like dreamy, colors that this gives these cool colors are amazing for this film stock you do notice when you are shooting with this you get more of that green tint and some of like the mid-tones of your images um and that's okay it's just you have to be mindful it's kind of like where you're shooting or what you're shooting up against uh but again like i mentioned a thousand times take a drink for every time i say cool or pastel tones for this film stock but it's just, it's, it's a beautiful look. I see why there's a lot of wedding photographers that uses this film stock a lot. And also too, uh, again, the Fuji film simulations, some of those try to emulate this Fuji Color 400 Pro and just give that nice, just airy, um, just vibe to your shots. And I think this film is fantastic. I love shooting with it. I have like four boxes in the fridge for my 120. I actually don't have any for my 35 mil. I don't think they have any of that stuff available anymore, but I'll look around and see if uh, there's some available. We might do another video on that. And lastly, we're gonna talk about the Kodak Portra 400 film stock. <laughs> you said it's eating one? Wait, where is it at? On the, oh, hey. I'm 
easily my favorite because it's just so easy to use, guys. It's so forgiving uh, in terms of underexposure. Um, when you overexpose, it looks really, really beautiful. Uh, granted, the few images I'm showing on the screen here were a little underexposed. It was an overcast day. Again, I know I say that a lot in my videos, but it was definitely an overcast day. Uh, the clouds were out and about. There was no sun available at all. So we made the best of what we had. Um, I'm also gonna attach some of these pictures on the screen here of a shoot I did earlier this year with Sydney. Um, Emerald and Sydney are kind of the same skin tone, complexion, so, and the day was literally the weather, same, basic, same areas. I'm gonna show some of these too, just to give you guys an idea of well-exposed Portrait 400 uh, images. Again, I love the warm tones that this film stock gives unlike the Cine Steel 400D. So I mentioned earlier that the Cine Steel 400D film stock, I feel focuses more on the reds and the yellows, where the Kodak Portrait 400 focuses more on the yellows and the oranges of the image, which is, you can kind of see in, in the photos. I'm gonna show some on the screen side by side, just so you can get an idea of your own. But you guys let me know, uh, how do you think the color like palettes match up for Portrait 400 versus Cine Steel 400D? But you guys let me know what you thought of the photos. What 400 film stock do you prefer? I know I left out a couple, you know, Lomography 400. I heard a lot of great things about that. Might have to get some of that and test it out as well. Uh, you know, there are a bunch of awesome 400 film stocks, including the black and white film stocks. We're not even gonna touch those because that's a whole nother field. But in terms of the color negative film stocks that we talked about today, the Cine Steel 400D, the Fuji Color 400H, as well as the Portrait 400, let me know which one you prefer based off the images on the screen and from your own experience with shooting them.